Fans of the hit series Bridgerton have been eagerly awaiting the next romantic storyline, and it seems they won't be disappointed. After witnessing the captivating slow-burn romance between Anthony Bridgerton and Kate Sharma, viewers have been curious about Benedict Bridgerton's quest for love. Anthony and Kate embraced their profound feelings for each other in the season 2 finale, which was released in March 2022. Following the acceptance of his proposal by the older Sharma sister, the pair enthusiastically embarked on the new chapter of their lives, which included another spectacular game of Pall Mall. According to the Julia Quinn books that inspired the successful Netflix series, the focus moved to the second eldest Bridgerton sibling in season two. Thompson emphasized the benefits of shifting the major storyline each season prior to the season's launch. Before moving forward, I think you need to smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. In March 2022, Julia told The Wrap, I think the idea of swapping protagonist characters every season is brilliant, since it adds a feeling of freshness and uniqueness to the series. It provides a completely new family dynamic, and the show takes a distinctive turn, making it immensely pleasurable to watch together. The British actor also stated that he purposefully avoided diving too far into his character's backstory before filming his sequences. He expressed, As an actor, it's actually preferable not to know where you're headed. If you know too much about your character's journey, you may wind yourself over explaining and signposting it rather than genuinely experiencing it. With Anthony's romantic issues in season two, Benedict was seen comforting his older brother. When you have siblings, you have a shared essence that identifies you. You share many similarities, which makes you a perfect confidant. But it may also make you the most difficult person to confide in, owing to the overpowering likeness. The club alum made a remark about the siblings. What's truly wonderful about their connection, however, is that you can tell throughout those sequences that their fun banter and teasing are actually their method of grasping each other and themselves. Benedict, on the other hand, struggled with his artistic identity after being accepted into the Royal Academy. The second season ended with Benedict realizing that Anthony had paid for his enrollment, casting doubt on their future relationship. It's extremely enjoyable to perform because of its complicated nature, Thompson said of the two characters' dynamic. The relationship is far from straightforward, which makes it an engrossing watch. They are continuously challenging one another and unwilling to let one other off the hook. Over the same time frame, executive producer Shonda Rhimes hinted at a possible storyline shift. With eight Bridgerton siblings and eight books, we plan to examine each of their romantic journeys, she told Entertainment Tonight. Although we will not follow a perfect chronological order, we will delve into the lives of all the siblings and their individual stories. In May 2022, Nicola Coughlin confirmed that season three of the show will focus on the romance between Colin, played by Luke Newton, and Penelope Featherington. The decision was explained by new showrunner Jess Brownell, who took over from Chris Van Dusen. Brownell believes that now is Colin and Penelope's time to shine. Viewers have seen both actors on their screens since season one and have already become engrossed in their characters. Brownell says that there have been periods of tension between Colin and Penelope in the last season, when Colin knows but does not fully comprehend Penelope's affections for him. Rather than continuing this dynamic, it was decided to investigate it further in their season. Brownell believes that now is the ideal time to look into their narrative. Penelope Featherington has moved on from her romance on Colin Bridgerton after hearing him speak negatively about her to his friends in season three. Instead, she is determined to find a partner who values her independence and will allow her to keep her secret identity as Lady Whistledown hidden from her family. Her lack of confidence, however, impedes her hunt for the appropriate mate. Meanwhile, Colin realizes that Penelope, the one person who truly valued him for who he is, has turned cold on him. He sets out to increase her self-confidence in the hopes of attracting a good partner determined to repair their friendship. Nevertheless, when Colin goes deeper into his affections for Penelope, he faces the issue of comprehending his actual sentiments for his friend. Meanwhile, Penelope's disagreement with Eloise will lead to an unexpected friendship. Penelope will experience difficulties in maintaining the mystery of her alter identity, Lady Whistledown, as she navigates this new relationship. This season, 
Penelope's change in London is likely to enchant fans as she embraces a fresh sense of freedom and resolve, Coughlin joyfully said in June 2023 at Tudum. Be ready for a sensational season that will take you on a roller coaster trip. She went on, Our season begins with the return of the ton from the countryside, signaling a new beginning for Penelope. Meanwhile, Colin returns from his European travels in France, Spain and Italy with a stunning new appearance. Penelope and Colin have both grown up and their blossoming bond contains limitless possibilities. Fans of the books may have some idea, but this season promises enchantment and romance beyond conception. The show's sexual moments were toned down in season two. Nonetheless, Brownell has stated that Colin's plot will be lighter in tone, allowing for more comic and romantic moments. According to the former Scandal writer, Colin and Penn are characters who bring a lot of comedy to the show, and this season will showcase more of that. There will also be a balance of humor and sensuality, as romance is vital to the show. Fans may anticipate to see more serious and deeper aspects of Colin and Penn as they explore new layers of their characters. Coughlin mentioned the possible intensity of Penelope and Colin's romance with Variety in June 2022, implying that due to the two seasons of build-up, it is likely to be more passionate. She stated that she has not yet read the scripts, but was given an outline. Coughlin joyfully announced the start of filming for Bridgerton Season 3 in a recent Instagram post. She is pictured seated in a carriage with Newton by the door, encouraging fans to join in the fun. The arrival of the Season 3 leads to a lavishly decorated carriage alludes to Quinn's romancing Mr. Bridgerton novel, in which Colin and Penelope had a passionate affair inside a similar carriage. Be ready for the most exciting carriage ride, the Irish actress teased in an Instagram post. A synopsis between Penelope and Colin revealed that there have also been numerous cast announcements, both in terms of new cast members joining, such as Hannah New and Lady Tilly Arnold, and the return of the old cast. The Bridgerton family will be represented by the following actors, Jonathan Belias Anthony Ruth Jemmel as Violet Claudia, Jesse as Eloise, Luke Thompson as Benedict, Luke Newton as Colin, Gregory World Hilton as Gregory, and Florence Hunt as Higher Self. Nicola Coughlin will reprise her role as Penelope Featherington. The season's leading Lady Whistledown and many other familiar faces are expected to return in the ton Portia Featherington, Adjoa Ando Lady Danbury, and Golda Rochelle as Queen Charlotte. Now that their stories have seemingly concluded, Bridget in Season 3 has one major casting change the actress portraying Francesca Bridgerton. Ruby Stokes has left the movie. Stokes landed a starring role in Netflix's Lockwood & Company, which clashed with a Bridgerton recurring role. I hope that you enjoyed this secret glimpse into the future of Bridgerton and its most anticipated storylines. Are you excited about knowing what twists and turns await Colin and Penelope's romances? Let us know in the comments below, and also share your views and opinions. Thanks for watching the video.